in case you haven't been noticing, I've been wearing like this braided crown thing recently. It's the new thing that I'm doing with my hair called protective styling because I've been watching a lot of YouTube beauty people or just I guess natural people, just a lot of like beauty hair stuff. Decided I should be better about my own hair in order to keep the growth and the momentum going. Like I've been getting it, like keeping on a daily regiment, but um, I decided to do more protective styles because there is a science to hair, and it is true that when you wear your hair out, it like rubs against cotton, and then friction happens, and then like you end up losing some length or ends because of this like friction against your shirt, and it pops, and then like all that growth for nothing. So yeah, anywho, I've been wearing my hair in like this braided crown thing in like past videos, and I noticed that when I take it out of the braids. I also have another really quick cool style that I can do because my hair like holds braids really well and when it comes out it's like it holds the pattern so it's like super crinkly and all I have to do really is just like shake my hair out and then like maybe like throw some bobby pins in it and I can like kind of craft the style real quick and it looks cute enough so like really good that I get like two styles out of just doing braids. Um, so yeah so I took my hair out today and I just put it in a ponytail because I've been oiling my scalp to keep it not dry, but it is kind of itchy, and I decided I need some fresh air, I need to release them from the braids and get a better, like, oily thing going on, so I did that. And I just threw it in a quick ponytail and pulled out, like, this part here for a bang, because it was just sticking up, because it's kind of short in the front. But anywho, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you guys that. And then also, I've been promising to do this beauty haul for like forever, and I haven't done it yet, or like stuff that I've gotten from Sephora and just collected like makeup wise. So I'm going to do that as well. So stay tuned. So back to the. So let's start this whole. I guess we'll call it spring beauty haul because it kind of is spring and it kind of that's what it is. Things that I got from Revlon. Now, I work for this company. And um, we did an event, and Revlon donated a lot of products to um, the event, like beauty products. And we ended up with a lot of leftovers, so I ended up getting to take a lot of it home. So let me first show you all the Revlon stuff first, and there is a lot of it. So I will try my best to be speedy and not, like, drag on forever. But first thing, I got these um, Revlon liquid eyeliners. This one is electric blue. Haven't tried any of them yet, but I'm excited to because it was like my favorite color, so that's good. I also have this green spark one. It's kind of dark green. I don't know if you can tell. So it looks kind of wintry, but I can still wear it in the spring, summer, you know. Do like a cool, like maybe gold shadow with a green liner. And then I also got a brown one. I'm not sure what that's called. And I can't find it right now, but when I do come across it, I will show you that. Then I got this um, Revlon. This is a highlighting palette, and the palette color is Rose Glow. You can see the colors in here. I'm not sure this is the best palette for my complexion to use for highlighting because it is light. But, I mean, I can use some of the some of the colors in this palette and, like, highlight under my brow and, like, I guess... I'm not really sure how highlighters work to begin with, but I can, I can figure something to do with this, so that's cool, and it's free. All this is free, by the way, from Revlon, anyways. Then we have this Marquesa line. Love that red lipstick. Haven't opened it yet, but let's get this. Can't really see it. It's like this color red. It looks really nice, like really fun, like bright, bold red lip kind of thing. This other Revlon lipstick that I got, it's called Black Cherry, and it's a deep, like, I guess it's a deep red. It's like, looks like that color. And it's also by Marquesa from the Revlon line, and, or Revlon line, Revlon Marquesa line, and it also looks like a really cool color. It looks like it'll be cool and cute. Again, that's also kind of dark, but whatever, night, you can wear whatever you want. Then I got these shadows from Revlon as well. I got this nice gold one that I was talking about. I can wear it with the, the green eyeliner or the blue. Then I have this like dusky one. I think it would be really good for practicing a smoky eye. It's grayish if you couldn't tell. 
And I have this bright blue, because yet again, I love blue and summer, you know. And then I got this, like, teal, bluish, greenish color. And then I also got um, this Revlon blush. It's called Classy Coral. And this, um, I haven't tried this yet either. I'm sorry. I'm so slow. Too much free stuff. I have yet to try it. And I don't wear a lot of makeup in my daily, like, workday life, even though I'm, like, putting it in more. So I don't want to, like, come to work looking, like, super fancy. Not, that's just not me. At least not yet. But, yeah, I got this, um, classy coral. And this is, like, an orangey pink one. And I think this would look really good on me because I think I look good in coral. And, at least in clothes. And I think this would be really cute for summer and, um, yeah, definitely for, for summer. I'll wear a nice bright dress, maybe. Or, I don't know, what clothing. I got a lot of makeup for summer and spring. Clothing, that's another video. Have yet to approach that, but I will once I go to London. And then, I got some more lip stuff from Revlon. I got these, uh, lip moisture stains. And this is just Revlon, no specific designer line. Um, this color is called India Intrigue. Looks like the sticker. And I did try this. Um, it's cool. I put it over one of the lip balms that I got, and it looked nice. And then this is another darker color, Parisian Passion. And I really love French, so... This is also a really nice dark color to wear. You could also wear it on a cool date night if I had a date to go to. Okay. So then a couple more lip things from Revlon. Where are they? Is the question. Oh, here's the brown eyeliner that I was referring to. This one's called Mahogany Flame. And again, it's kind of dark, but brighten it up with a nice shadow. You don't need a bright liner. I also got... Sorry, I'm like all over the place. I'll hold this off because I should follow a pattern. Um, then I also got these um, lip balm sticks. And ones that I really love. Well, this is the first one that I got. It's um, a lacquer balm. And the color is Enticing Desirable. Number 150. Looks like the sticker. And um, it applies nice. Um... It doesn't have a metallic sheen. I thought it would because of the um, cup, or the design of the bottle thing, whatever you call this. And um, you can see the crayon. It kind of looks shiny, but it's not. It's not really. It doesn't apply shiny. If you want to shine, put on a basic lip gloss over it. Um, and then, oh, so just organized too much junk. Then I also got a purple one, which I don't think I have here, but it's not a lacquer balm. It's like um the other Revlon lip balm that I have that I, I like did in the, I showed in a video a while back, and that one is like um a light purple, like a bright purple, pastel-y purple for spring summer. So that should be interesting. I don't know if it's gonna look nice on me. I haven't tried it yet because of the the contrast, but maybe if I do something nice to my eyes, it'll look better. I don't know. I have, I'm kind of skeptical about it, but it was free, so I decided to try that color. Then, this is what I really love. Um, they have this, Revlon has this matte balm um, called, oh, well, they have a whole line of colors, but this one is called Sultry Sulfruz, and this is what it looks like. And I just, like, I really love the Revlon balm stains like the ones that I already were using but when I tried the matte balm there's just something about the way these apply that I just I don't know they're just great I really love it and then I also have it in what is this um stand out remarkable which is like a red color and it, I just love the way matte applies awesome just saying and it lasts really long then Oh, here's the purple one I was talking about. This one's a balm stain. I, re I already had balm stains. I have a purp like a pink and a, a red one already. But this is the purple one I was talking about. And it's called Darling Cherie. Then I got a bunch of free nail polish. So I got this. Like, I don't have enough nail polish already when I did my 
nail polish haul. I'll link to that video too, and I'll also link to the video where I discuss my previous makeup collection. So I have this pink, um, this is called Hot Hand. I haven't tried this yet, but it looks cute. Definitely fun for summer. I have this gold color. It's called Jackpot. And another really fun, I don't have gold nail polish, so that's cool. And I also, um, I tried to do a design on my nail. It kind of failed because I don't have any of the tools, but here's some what the gold looks like on my nail. And then I also have this um, Marquesa nail polish. This one is called Gray Suede, and I'm pretty sure it'll apply really cute. Then I got another Marquesa uh, nail polish. This one is called Chameleon, and I put this on my toes, and it does look really cute. Just saying. Mm, let me speed through some more nail polish because I still got quite a few things left. This is the Sky's the Limit. It's like a shiny blue. Again, I love blue and I love shiny, so definitely got that. Then I have Joker's Wild, which is an orangey color, and I, I like the way orange looks for me, so I decided to get this. And it looks like a peachy orange. It'll be cool for a spring summer. Then I have um, High Stakes, which is like a dark green but not super dark it's like a blue green thing and I like this color um, so my nails right now again I tried to do my nails myself I tried to do a design and I failed miserably but I don't have the tools I use like a tooth I use a bobby pin to try and draw this stuff on so that's terrible then I also got this winning streak these I guess this nail polish line is like something having to do with like lottery and I should mention these are all gel based so maybe that's why I don't know but it's like a purple kind of matches the balm stain that I have and this also looks similar to another nail polish that I have that's in my other video but I'll try it out there you go and then I think that's all I got one more thing that I got from the event that was cool I got these earrings um they're red little dangly earrings my co-worker actually makes them it's called BK and Leo and I haven't worn them yet but I'm waiting for a special occasion or going out somewhere cool like summertime so I'll wear them and see if I get compliments but they look cute and they're handmade so that's really cool then at Sephora now those are all things oh one more thing this Revlon Marquesa um, nail, pol nail kit manicure essentials so I got the clipper um, a little file and other things. So that's cool. Okay, so now on to the not so furry stuff that I got from Sephora. So I got a pencil sharpener for my eyebrow pencil that I got, and I also got um, a lip liner. And I realized that those things are, work as pencils, even though I thought you screwed it from the bottom. You don't. You need a sharpener. So I got a basic sharpener. And then. I was just going to Sephora just for the sharpener, but then I got sucked into this palette, the Sephora palette, and um, it's called Moon Shadow Big Palette, and the colors in it are really cute. If I can get it open. I haven't opened this yet, but I did open it at the store. Ugh. Well, not this specific one. There's tape on it. There's no point in opening it. I'll show you the back. So this is what the... um. The palette looks like on the inside. It's a lot of um, purples and warm browns, like a very um to me a Caribbean feel, and I think that'd be cute for summer. So I got that. Then here's my eyebrow pencil that I got. I got it from who is this? Uh, Benefit, and it's good for someone who doesn't know how to do brows. Beginner pencil has a nice little brush. And a pencil thing. I mean, the color I got the black, and it's not. It's I think it's intense black was the color. It's not that intense, but I mean, it's good because if you mess up, it won't be super obvious that you messed up, even though you could like erase it or just wipe it off. But it's a good starter pencil. Um, then I got this um rollerball perfume. It's Amazon Lily by the Nest line at Sephora, and I had gotten a sample of this and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, but it smelled so good. I just had to go back and get the rollerball. So when I do get that date, I'll also smell nice. 
in addition to having good good lip stuff. Um, then I got NARS. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, I got a concealer from Smashbox. Ended up being too dark. And then the next color underneath it was too light or too peachy. And Smashbox is not, I guess, very pigmented for the brown skin people. So at least for the concealer. So I had to pass on Smashbox. So I ended up getting the NARS um caramel concealer, and I think that best matched my complexion. At least. I tried to get an associate to help me because she was too busy and no one else was available. But I got my friend's advice and we settled on this one matching my skin tone best. So I will probably put this on as well as some other products that I'm showing you slash showed you. And we can see if I was right. And what else do we have? I got Makeup Forever HD um, foundation. It's a light foundation and I'm, I was really wanting to explore foundation more. And I got the color 173. Originally, when I first went to Sephora, they gave me 177. And, I mean, maybe she, the woman matched me wrong. I thought I was a 173, but then she told me I was 177. And then when I put it on, like, I'm like, this looks a little dark, but it doesn't look that bad. But then, like, when I said my mom saw a picture of me with the makeup on, she's like, you have a lot of makeup. It's like, no, I don't. Like, I don't put on that much makeup to begin with. But then she's like, you look like you got a tan. It looks like you went to J Jamaica, the Bahamas. So, I don't really need to look like I have a tan. I have a natural tan. So, realized that was a little too dark for me. So, I got this color. And the woman who helped me out this time was, like, really good. And pretty sure this is the right one. So, I was right before. That woman was totally wrong. I think I mentioned that in another video. Then, I was at this hair store... Um, cause like I said, I'm doing more stuff with hair and, um, I got some stuff from a beauty supply that I should also show, but this is kind of getting long. But, um, I got this lip gloss just in the whim. It was a pink, I don't know, pink and shiny. It's like attracting me right now. It's by Nika K. And what is this called? Madeira? I don't know. It looks cool, you know, fun. Why not? Not like I'm poor or anything. Then I got this NARS um, lip gloss. It's from the Orgasm line. This was just Orgasm. It's nice. It's kind of, I'm not sure if I totally love it, but it's like a fun, like, sh it's like a light shine. So that, I can put it over stuff. Then I got some Stila. Since I love, love, love their eyeliner pen, I got some lip gloss from them, and it's like bright red. It's called Poppy Vinyl. And it's like it has a little bit of an orange hue to it. And I really like the way it looks on my lips. Like, pop. Really good for summer. Um, what else I have in here? I have this clear um, lip liner because I was like, I don't know what color lip liner to get. Let me just get clear because I have so much like lip balm and stuff. I rather just get a like basic one that I can use with everything. So that's what I did. And I got. A basic um kind of it's a travel kit but it's a basic brush kit that I can use with all my new makeup that I got so I can retire the fingers from just doing this and kind of use brushes but I have yet to open this and I've still been using the fingers but you know I, I should probably stop and I paid for this so probably be opening this up in the next future and yeah that's everything I got from Sephora um it's, I think it was a really good haul. I didn't. I kind of spent money, but not too much because whenever you go to Sephora, it's like an investment. Cause you think, oh my god, this is so expensive, but you don't really have to go back to Sephora. You don't really have to go back to Sephora to for like another like two years or so if that's how often you use your makeup. Because the makeup that I have from Mac, like I still have it, and I got that in like 2012 after my first London trip. And that was like in November, and I still have plenty of it, and it's 2014 right now, and it's like it's April. So, I didn't spend that much money then, I just got like two things, and they still last, so all the stuff that I got now is going to last me forever, and I shouldn't really be going back to Sephora unless there's something here that I'm missing completely, or need to improve upon. But yeah, I mean, I didn't spend that much money, I think it was very good for 
what I got. And I'm glad of the things that I picked out because it shows that I'm becoming a smart makeup person. So yeah.